Hi love, Aubrey Daimler here from Peace With Endo. I am an author, coach, and energy healer who helps women with endometriosis to naturally manage pain, increase energy, and find peace with endo. So today I am embarking on the first day of the 369 liver cleanse as outlined in Anthony Williams' book, Liver Rescue. This is the first time that I've done the cleanse, so I thought I would document my journey along the way and perhaps inspire you to do the cleanse as well. If you have the book, then I invite you to do the cleanse with me um, over the next nine days. If you don't have the book, but you wanna do the cleanse, no worries, go ahead and make sure you pick up a copy of Liver Rescue and I'm gonna provide you with a list of things to buy for the first three days so you can get started soon. So the 369 Liver Cleanse is designed to be a more gentle type detox experience than some of the liver cleanses that I've done in the past. And one thing that I've learned after reading Liver Rescue is you don't want to do an intense type liver cleanse where you're dumping a bunch of toxins all at once because that can overload your body and it really does no good because you're just getting all those toxins floating around and it ends up just recirculating back into your system. So the 369 cleanse is designed to have a little bit of a ramp up period in these first three days to prepare your liver to be able to release some of those toxins later on. So these first three days I don't think are going to be super intense. Now of course that's going to be relative to your experience and when it comes to the food guidelines for me I've already changed my diet so this isn't going to be a huge shift for me but if you haven't cut out some of these liver aggravating foods then you may experience more of a detox impact over these first three days so keep that in mind. So let's talk a little bit about the basic food guidelines of the cleanse throughout the full nine day period. So you're going to want to avoid liver aggravating foods. So this includes gluten, which is found in wheat, barley and rye, dairy, eggs, canola oil, pork products and lamb. So those are the basic foods that you're going to want to avoid for the cleanse. And then you want to focus on adding in uh, liver supporting foods. So fruits and vegetables, focus on getting in leafy greens because those are great to help detox your liver. Now, he recommends cutting your fat intake by 50%. So this includes healthy fats. So if you normally eat nuts and avocados and that type of thing, he recommends cutting that consumption in half for the cleanse and beyond if you decide to stick with that advice. So fat is processed by your liver. That's one of your liver's primary job is to process fat and turn it into an energy source. If it's constantly having to do that, you're taking its attention away from other important processes in your body. So by cutting that fat consumption, you're giving your liver a break during this cleansing period. So cut your fat consumption by 50%. He also recommends um, if you eat animal protein to wait until dinner time to consume that. So animal protein hangs around longer in your blood and he recommends waiting later on in the day to consume that. And as far as your mornings go, uh, he recommends not doing fats until lunchtime. So avoiding even healthy fats in the morning is gonna give your liver a break during that important cleansing time. So those are the basic, that's the basic outline for the nine days of the cleanse. So avoiding those liver aggravating foods, adding in fruits and veggies, and cutting your fat consumption in half, waiting to eat the animal protein until dinner time. So those are the basic guidelines. Uh, now let's talk about what you're gonna need for these first three days as far as supplies go. Um, luckily, I had all of these on hand in the kitchen, but you may need to make a trip to the store. <laughs> Um, so first thing you're going to need are some lemons. Um, this is for lemon water in the morning. So depending on how much lemon you squeeze in there, um, I would say at least two lemons for the first three days. Um, I've got three here, which is more than enough. 
Um, you're also going to want to stock up on apples. There's a lot of apples involved in this cleanse because apples are like one of the most healing foods for your liver. So I get this big bag of organic apples from the store. You're going to want to get at least six apples for these first three days, if not nine apples. So if you can, uh, shoot for the organic version because apples are one of the dirtier fruits. They're heavily sprayed with pesticides, so it's worth it to buy the organic version. I like to buy the bagged version because it's a little bit cheaper, um, but it's definitely worth investing in the organic version. So you're going to want to stock up on apples. You're also going to need some dates, um, at least three dates for these first three days, if not 12. So you can buy a packet of these um, as well from the store. And then you're going to want to get some lemon balm or hibiscus tea. Um, I have some lemon balm tea on hand, so that's what I'm going to be using. So that's it, that's what you need for the first three days. Again, you're gonna to wanna to get some lemons, you're gonna to wanna to stock up on apples, six to nine apples, and then get some dates. So anywhere from uh, three to 12 dates, depending on how many you wanna eat during those snacking periods. So, and definitely get the book, Liver Rescue, because he does give a full um, outline of the cleanse and he provides some recipes, which you're going to need for later on in the cleanse. But this will at least get you started for the first three days. If you wanna join me, you can get your supplies, get the book um, and hop on in. So thank you so much for following along. I'm excited to get started with this and I will be dropping some updates as I move along through the different phases of the cleanse. But I'm sending you all so much love. Mwah. We'll chat soon. Bye for now.